1910 Bell Arts Mansion of Lumber Baron R.A. Long, known as Corinthian Hall, became associated with the Kansas City Museum name in 1939. While many of the historic fixtures and furnishings were removed by Long's children, that did not stop the museum from undertaking a momentous restoration of the remaining historic materials. Construction on the project began in 2017. All of the original wood floors on the first floor were restored, with repairs made using what materials remained on the upper floors. The project included repairing the historic plaster and casting new ornamental pieces to replace those that were missing, using the originals that did remain. The Longs originally hired Von Gartner Company out of New York. Their specialty was creating period style rooms for these big mansions back east. And they wanted that as well. So each of the rooms, even, though, even in the bedrooms, had a particular time period and style. Gold leaf was repaired and reapplied to the features in the salon, which retains the most historic fabric. Paint in rooms retaining historic fabric was tested to determine original colors. They were then painted to match. Existing chandeliers and wall sconces were cleaned, refurbished, and rewired to meet current standards, then reinstalled around the house. We have original pieces. It's mainly because the daughters or grandchildren have given them back. We were also in Lula's will, Lula Long Combs, and anything that she had taken from Corinthian Hall that we wanted back, we could take. The 70s, <laughs> mid-70s were a time when we got back the mantelpiece in the library. Original wood paneling that had been salvaged and stored was installed along a wall in the dining room. This returned some of the historic character back to the space, as it had previously lost all of its original fabric. The original chandelier, another item returned in Lula's will, was also reinstalled. As a museum, certain rooms which didn't retain historic features were retrofitted with perimeter insulation, vapor barriers, and other humidity controlling measures to protect artifacts. The restored and renovated Kansas City Museum will provide a unique opportunity to present materials from its vast collection of over 100,000 artifacts through exhibitions, media and interactives, education and public programs, special events and other installations, all while showcasing the historic spaces of this grand former residence. The renovation was funded by a dedicated museum levy, public improvement dollars, and $6 million in private donations and ensures this historic community asset will continue to serve the public for many years. The Kansas City Museum is expected to be open in fall 2021. It's, it's beyond what I had hoped for. It's, it's back to what I think the Longs would be proud of. So many thanks to everyone who's worked on the project from even the smallest little thing we've asked. Everyone's done it uh, so well. We've had so few problems. We've had so few complaints. Everyone's just been really happy to work on the project and that's been really gratifying. So, so many, starting with IAAR architects, um, all Jay Dunn, all of our contractors who have just put in this wonderful work to bring the house back to something that we had hoped for but weren't quite sure whether to think it was reality. They have been one of the greatest clients but actually this has been a wonderful teamwork. Um, I mean you will assume that with the restoration especially like this one that they will be like change orders or you are fighting. I mean everybody took so much pride on all of the work that was done. It has been the most wonderful collaboration. I mean, I could not have asked for better partners, as you say, between the owners and the contractors and everybody who was part. I mean, it could have been a nightmare, but instead it was a wonderful journey. And I mean, I'm sure through design and everything, there were some uncomfortable moments making decisions. and. You didn't know the step you were taking, but actually it has, it has been, it was great. Then. I want to thank the city of Kansas City, Missouri, 
and the Parks and Recreation Department who took on this project in 2014 and our entire staff, our neighbors who live around the museum who have rooted for us um, for many, many years, the greater Northeast, historic Northeast community and the greater public that supports the Kansas City Museum on an annual basis. I'm so grateful that we chose to remain open for tours um, in 2014 and all the way uh, up to construction started in 2017 because it was on those tours that we received so much incredible feedback and ideas for the design elements that we incorporated into the project. So I want to thank everyone who continues to support the Kansas City Museum and has really understood and embraced our mission and vision. I want to start off by thanking our executive director, Anna Marie Tutera. She's shown great leadership. She's provided direction throughout this entire process. And what I am most proud about is the team that she has assembled. It's a team that's representative of the Kansas City population. It's representative of this neighborhood. And to have a leader who is committed to that and committed to history and committed to community and getting people together is a huge, huge plus. So to work under her leadership, under her guidance, has been a personal a favorite thing for me. And above all else, I also want to thank our colleagues. They've been patient throughout this process. The staff members that were here with us They've had to work at satellite locations, they've had to work odd hours, uh, but the museum is now coming back. So uh, thanking them for their patience, I think it is appropriate and right. So thank you, Anna Marie, and thank you to all of our partners. Oh, well, I see this house as my biggest artifact, and I don't choose favorite artifacts. So, um, so I really do see this as, as our biggest artifact to to love and cherish and, and I, I tell people I'm in the forever business so we want to make sure this building is around forever and so I, I have loved every bit of it. Sometimes it's been frustrating and sometimes it's been really uh, fun and then mostly it's just been gratifying to come in and see what we've talked about for all these years actually come to fruition and I'm, I've just been so pleased and, and feel so um, honored to be part of the project.